How you doing guys? Professor EDC with another Blazosophy Sunday and today I changed it up a bit and I put some of my favorite blades on the table. Um, not all of them were um, able to fit but this uh, what you see is uh, some of my favorite just all-time favorite blades um, and some that uh, I don't have here, but rather in my workshop. But anyways, let's talk about, how about we talk about living on the razor's edge. That's, that's a saying, one, that's the slogan uh, of my channel in, in Spanish. To live on the razor's edge. And what I mean by that is when we live that way, let's take this um, custom Richard Osborne knife. When we live uh, on the razor's edge, like we are doing nowadays, you know, with everything that's going on, uh, so many crises, ecological, economical, uh, in matters of uh, security and well-being, um, the COVID and everything. And so we are literally, I think, living on the razor's edge or on the blade's edge. And the way to, to walk, the way to live on, those, on that edge is to keep our balance, isn't it? I mean, if, if I press too hard on this side, I would cut myself as well. If I press too hard on this side or up front or on the back, I would cut myself. So I really have to be careful and slide, do a, this sliding balancing act of living. And that requires, well, many things, right? It, requ it requires um, bravery and it requires of overcoming uh, fears. And um, well, one of the most important things I think that these times and, and living on the razor's edge requires is mind training, you know? And we have seen uh, in our community, a lot of things going on um, the last few, the last, uh, last week, the last couple of weeks. And we have seen, I think, just a, a, an overflow of um, ignorance in many cases. And, you know, there, there's um, active ignorance and then there's passive ignorance. Um, but in this case, what we've seen is mostly active ignorance. And in, in difficult times, in times of war, these are times of different uh, types of war. But, and at least here in, in my country, which is a, a third world country, we face uh, things that you could not imagine. So we are at war, but at the same time, we have to live. And not only that, but we want to still enjoy life. We still want to search for happiness and, and reach happiness and build happiness. Don't we? I know we do. I'm, sh I'm pretty sure you do too. And for that, we need to be more um, conscious of everything, of reality, of where, where we're standing and um, who's manipulating us. Even uh, we manipulate ourselves without, without uh, noticing. And so for that, it's very important to train our minds, to train our bodies. Um, yeah, and, and I know a lot of people 
train their bodies and and keep their focus and but you know that's an easy thing <laughs> but to train your mind that's that's a big challenge and i don't mean any respect to to you know training your body but to train your mind that's a whole different uh ticket and let's think of um let's think of a storm the storm of life the storm of youtube uh the storm of negativity that we've seen for the last few weeks um the storm of covid the storm of economical uh, disaster yeah i know a lot of negative things but hang in there with me we can't um block the sun with a finger with a, with our thumb that's a saying we have in spanish and so we have all of these things going on and to deny them is just to um tricking ourselves to lying to ourselves and to others so all of this is going on we are part of all of this and if we see this as a storm you know the first thing when we are in a storm what do we do we search we look for um protection for a roof uh, to get to our homes right and that's the first thing that we have to do and that's a good example in in mind training what is a protection well we center our attention in our body in our breathing that's that um gives us gives us some kind of a um a root uh and helps us calm down by focusing on our breathing on and how we inhale and exhale and while we are doing this we check on how our, our mind is and we will notice that many thoughts arise and and they stay there for a while and then and uh, after a while they disappear And this goes on and on and on and on. And when we uh, focus our attention in our breathing, we are anchoring our attention. We are anchoring our energy and our our emotions. And we're not letting. Uh, turbulence we're not letting any thoughts we're not letting the storm um, overcome us we become masters of our mind for a brief second this is really difficult uh, the attention span of, of a college student around that age uh, is around uh, three or four seconds <laughs> ridiculous right but it is something that we can build upon and uh, we can get better at and when we get better at focusing our attention at breathing at um, being the masters of our own mind and the masters of our body and not vice versa right we will have a little bit more of um, clarity and clarity you might ask well what what what's clarity good for professor well clarity is going to help us um, help it's going to help us I'm, I'm looking for the the right word discern good from bad uh, constructive from destructive to ourselves first and then to our environment that's what uh, clarity that's one of the benefits of clarity that it's it's going to 
help us use our intelligence and not you know being swept away by by waves of uh, waves of um, God how can I say it <laughs> of stupidity from other people from our bosses from uh, the, the guy driving next to us and and cutting us off um, you know from people barking in in the in the in social media um, and this is also an, an exercise that was uh, not only done in in meditation but as well as the samurai and warriors in general but we're forgetting that we can be warriors we are forgetting to train our minds we're forgetting that we can train um, our emotions. We're, for, we're forgetting that. And, and that is the sustain of life itself. Otherwise, we just fall into ignorance and, and dark and darker times. We are living, we are going through a dark stage. And I'm not the only one uh, to, to say this, but rather uh, even more, much more intelligent, uh, wiser and studied people have said this. I just like to study and read and, and learn from them. But what I am trying to do is precisely because of all of the defects I have, uh, I was able to recognize and, and <laughs> many a times I wasn't able to recognize, but very, very kind and, and wise and loving people were kind enough to point many things um, at me and, and show me how I was or how I am hurting others and things that I needed to change and I still need to change a whole, a whole bunch of them. And uh, I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to let this go. What? I'm not going to let go of improving myself. I'm not going to let go of getting better, of being a better human have many defects, a lot of defects, but you know what? This, I'm not gonna let go. I wanna be better, not just for me, but for my entire surrounding. And yes, I'm pretty sure I, I will keep on making mistakes, but then again, I will once again get up and keep on trying and many times many many times it's a lonely road it's a lonely path but then again many times i have been forgiven and many people have stuck by with me and are still there and I really appreciate that and so I'm not constructing myself by myself I have been constructing myself with the help of others because whoever says that they built themselves by themselves is a big liar and a blind person with a huge ego that cannot see and doesn't understand what interdependence is and that is the rule of life interdependence and we can see that in nature the biggest foremost um, example we have and guess what we are part of nature so, 
Let us build ourselves. Let us be building blocks and every time better building blocks. Let us be better humans, better brothers and sisters, better YouTubers, better friends, better sons, better husbands, better um, grandparents. That's the path to happiness, I believe. Because that's how we can build happiness and enjoy happiness. Let us be better. I hope you have a wonderful week. Professor ADC, out.